Thanks, how are you doing? Yeah, there's two... Sorry. Welcome back to your very own lives, Farry. The lionesses are still on the hunt. They've m moved. They're probably 300 meters from the back lioness who's going on the other side after these pigs. And you can see the other two lionesses um, that we're looking at now are moving slowly towards where the pigs are. And the third lioness is actually trying to sneak around to the opposite side. So we were asked a little bit earlier whether they set ambushes. This looks like an ideal ambush. And I was talking about visual communication between lions. And it's really, really interesting studies that are going on at the moment. Those black behind the ears and the black tip to the tail are very important for cubs to follow, but equally as important in the hunt because they, they take visual cues, see how they keep looking at each other. And that is how they decide where the, they're going to move. So it is absolutely fascinating when you when you get to watch uh, the lion dynamics and, 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 and the dynamic of the hunt. And what makes the Maasai Mara so perfect is you're able to do it in the open. And unlike the greater cougar, where it's often quite thick bush where it's happening, here we get to see it happen in the open. And uh, once we get our nocturnal rig set up as well, we're going to be able to see it in the most incredible way at night. And with no lights on, with the thermal cameras and, and, and the higher ISO cameras, we're going to be seeing the most incredible, incredible behavior and dynamics. Look, these girls are really hungry. Seven little cubs to feed. Remember, hashtag Safari Live if you've got any questions for us. Isn't this just amazing? What a morning in the Mara. So what they're going to do is they're going to try frighten the pigs towards the third lioness or even the second lioness as they split. Now we're in prime spot here. Tess says, come on ladies, get your breakfast. I couldn't agree more. You can almost smell the bacon. Now, I, I've lost sight of the third lioness, but let's just go to where the pigs are, Sins. So, just to give you an idea, so I said, as I said, I've lost sight of the third lioness. So, they're the warthogs. And if we keep going, to off to the left you will see there's some long grass as we come out a bit more and a little bit more to the left so I'd say she's somewhere in that long grass on the other side of the green and uh, we're going to just keep an eye out obviously we're in a great spot here um, and the, the particular oh, sensors found it you see it Look at that. See, she's using that long grass. Great spot, Sense. She's almost directly opposite the pigs now. So I think that the other two girls are going to be waiting, and then they're going to push her, push those pigs onto, onto her. So she's in the killing spot, so to speak. Now, that's, of course, if the pigs run that way. But this is as good a chance as any for these lions to make a successful hunt. Now comes the really difficult part if we don't have four cameras. Where to put the camera? Well, I think what we're going to do now is, is come out onto the lionesses that are going to push the pigs. And we'll just keep a close eye on that female that, that, that is waiting. In the, oh, she's moving forward. It's, uh, oh, this is so exciting. Elizabeth is wondering, is it a single lioness that leads the hunt, or is it fully collaborative? Look at them, they're moving. Now, it could happen that the lioness on the other side pushes the pigs onto these two girls. So, it, it, it's interesting going to be see whether two lionesses are going to wait in ambush, or, 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 or they're going to push them onto that single lioness. Now, of course, the pigs could run uh, in a, a direction away from the lionesses, and Elizabeth's wondering who leads the hunt, or is it a completely collaborative affair? Generally, the most hungry lion leads the hunt, but it is a collaborative affair uh, under normal circumstances. Okay, there we go. She's pushing towards the pigs. 
Now, there's a, there's a reason I'm staying so far back. Now, I, I've chosen a little bit of high ground here above where the lines are. So when everything runs and happens, um, we are in the best spot possible uh, to see what is going to happen. Now, she's probably about 80, 90, maybe 100 meters away from the, from the pigs at the moment. And you can see she's coming out of the, onto the short grass. So the one thing pigs have a disadvantage is their height. Uh, they're quite short, uh, like Kirsten in Final Control. So she, they, they, they might not see her until she's a lot closer. And you see that pig might think something's up. Now, of course, there is that. I can, we can just make out the other lioness. So that, there's two lionesses that are slowly moving towards one on the short grass and one in the, the long grass. Now, my money's on the long grass lioness being in the best spot for the takedown, so to speak. There she is, well hidden, probably equidistant to the pigs from the lionesses out in the open. Oh, look at this, um, Sins, there's just been a, a change. So look, look at that far lioness. She's moving back into the long grass further down in case the pigs go that way. So they're, they're literally trying to cover all their bases at the moment. The pigs are at the moment unaware. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go to middle lioness. Middle lioness is gonna be where the action is first. So look at her. She's getting really close. She's managed to sneak another sort of 20 or 30 meters. And you'll watch how they use the terrain. There might be a little depression or something like that that she might use. Now, Brian's wondering, would lionesses use the cub as a distraction? Um, I don't think they would do it on purpose. Um, it might happen inadvertently, but the cubs have left quite far away from here. And uh, maybe that's where the fourth line is. So as I did see her a bit earlier, but the cubs are on the long grass, probably about a kilometer uh, to the west of us. And it's only these three girls at the moment who are out and about and after breakfast. This is so cool. Oh, the wind's picking up. I've lost, I've lost comms with final control, but don't worry, we're, we're going to stick here. Um, they can call back. Oh, yeah, they're already calling back. Hello, welcome back. And um, we're still with these lions. Now, look, ooh, there's a, just come a bit wider. Just come up, just come a bit wider. Now, I've lost sight of the lioness in the long grass, but the one pig looks like it was thinking about going in that direction. I think good is a warthog's eyesight. It's for someone who's so short, and of course that their biggest disadvantage is their height and the fact that they can't see predators coming from afar. But they have an, an incredible turn of speed our piggy piggies uh, and they also got a really good sidestep for those who, who, who watch uh, rugby or whatnot so they can jink and, and, and change direction very quickly now also you know, this particular warthog isn't a big male but even the females have that razor sharp bottom tusk that's called a tush that is able to inflict damage but I think these warthogs are a bit outgunned by these girls can you still see the lioness the middle one I've lost her I think she's ducked in, oh no, I've got her, I've got her, I've got her, I've got her. She's, she's in that little hollow there. Now, we can know, well, there's about three or four pigs that I saw earlier, but we can't see all of them. There she is. So she's using the terrain. There's obviously a little depression there that she's sneaking along to try to get closer. And the other lioness, you see her sense, way down on the edge of the marsh, moving right around the edge at the end there. There she is. Now, 
I still can't see the third lioness who is in the long grass. But the pigs, let's stick on the pigs. The pigs are moving towards that long grass. You see the pigs? Look, look, she's, okay, Sense, she's coming for the warthog, she's coming for the warthog. Oh, that pig's gonna escape. Oh, dearie me. Oh, girls, girls, that's the third botch up of the morning. If you had just waited five more, five more minutes, those pigs would have walked into you. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Sorry, ladies. There, are, there were some more pigs in there, but I can't see them at the moment. That was nearly the perfect setup. I just. Is there still a pig? Can you still see a pig? Just go back to the lioness in the long grass. She still sees something. Just watch her body language. No, no, no the, the other one. To the left, in the long grass. See, she's still, she's still showing like there, there, there might be another pig that we can't see in one of those little depressions. There we go. So, so, so Sen says he can still, or that another lioness is still sneaking. The other two lionesses are still sneaking. So there's still a pig in there somewhere. Or, oh no, there it goes. It's running the other way. You see it disappearing at long distance. Ah, that was the last of the pigs. Oh dearie, dearie me. Well. Oh, ladies, ladies, ladies. So close to having the perfect setup. So they're hungry, so I'm just going to hang about here, see if they get up to anything else. But while we do that, Tristan has got an overload of cuteness for you.